Back to China. The Communist Party is getting a bit too anxious about tech giants and not the tech giants outside the country, but its own so-called untouchable tech giants, tech titans. A crackdown has been underway for quite some time now. In November 2020, the Shanghai and Hong Kong stock exchanges suspended the Ant Group's record $34.5 billion initial public offering. This was under pressure from Chinese regulators. Then in April 2021, Chinese regulators went after Alibaba, which owns a 33% stake in the Ant Group. Alibaba was slapped with a $2.8 billion fine for alleged abuse of its market dominance. And now China has expanded its cybersecurity probe. Several domestic tech companies are in the net. The government is looking to target their collection and use of data. Which companies are these? What charges do they face? And what sort of impact will this crackdown have on global markets? Here's a report. Ever heard of Didi? a vehicle-for-hire company based in Beijing, the Chinese equivalent of Ola and Uber. With 550 million users every year, it is one of China's biggest ride-hailing firms. Last week, the company made its debut at the New York Stock Exchange, making it the biggest U.S. listing by a Chinese company since 2014. Didi's shares soared nearly 19% taking the value of the ride-hailing giant to $80 billion. Another day, another big company goes public in the IPO market. This is the most highly valued IPO that we've seen so far this year. And, you know, it's China's largest ride-hailing company. And so it's big, it's bigger than Uber, it's one of a dominant player. But the excitement was short-lived. On Sunday, the Cyberspace Administration of China, which is chaired by Xi Jinping himself, ordered all app stores in the country to remove Didi from its servers. Why? To protect national security and public interests, said the CAC without providing further details. Here's what we know. Didi gathers vast amount of real-time mobility data every day. It uses some of the data for autonomous driving technologies and traffic analysis. But the Chinese regime feels that there's more than meets the eye. It says the company has become a super database of personal information containing more details than the country itself. And as it enters American stock listings, China fears the data could be misused, even passed to the US government. In response, the company has said, We follow strict procedures in collecting, storing and transmitting user data pursuant to our data security and privacy policies. We store all China user and roads data at servers in the country and it's absolutely not possible that it is passed to the United States. But China is not even close to being convinced. You see, the probe against Didi is just the beginning. Beijing plans to crack down on all companies that have recently been listed in American exchanges. On Monday, it opened a cybersecurity probe against three more tech firms. This includes Boss Shipin, an online recruitment platform backed by Tencent, along with Yunman Man and Hu Chebang, two online logistics firms owned by the New York listed Full Truck Alliance. Next in line could be Meituan and Dada Nexus. Well, I think that it's not just Didi, but all of the ch major Chinese internet companies are under much more scrutiny now than they've been in the past. So it's just a risk for the sector. I will say that there's some companies like Meituan and Dada Nexus that have traded really well. So investors are seem to be willing to put those risks aside, but they are they are real risks. The DD probe, along with all other investigations that have been announced, reveal how the tensions between China and the United States are spilling over into the capital markets. 
The probes will not only suppress the desire of Chinese companies to go public in the United States, but also add to uncertainty facing investors, who may soon stop betting their money on US-listed Chinese stocks. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.